I wonder if we could find the area of a pentagon. And to do that, we're gonna turn our pentagon into a trapezoid. We know how to find the area of a trapezoid. We take the major base plus the minor base times half the height. So we're gonna see if that's gonna help us as we think about this, uh, as we think about this pentagon. So let's pay attention here to what our major base is in our pentagon when we put it back. and our minor base. Oh, so look at that. The major base and the minor base create the perimeter of the pentagon. Now, let's put this back again. Okay, so we know that the major base plus the minor base times half the height is the area of a trapezoid. I'm gonna use these pieces to help us see what the height is on this trapezoid. So we can see the height of the trapezoid right here. So let's look carefully when we put these pieces back to see what that height is in terms of the pentagon. Look at that. The height of the trapezoid is the apothem. So let's label these parts here on our pentagon. We have the perimeter all the way around, and we have the apothem. Right there. So when we put that into our trapezoid, We can see that if we wanted to find the area of this trapezoid, we would need to take the major base plus the minor base, which is the perimeter of the pentagon, and we'd need to multiply it by half of the height of the trapezoid, which is half of the apothem of the pentagon. So now you can use this formula to find uh, the area of any pentagon. Now, we could think about this in a different way. Let me show you. We could have our pentagon just like this. And we could make it into a rectangle. So we know that, let's take a look, the base of this rectangle is, let's take a look at what it is in terms of the pentagon. Oh, look at that. It's half of the perimeter and the height of this rectangle is the apothem. Okay, so we need to take the 
the area is going to equal half of the perimeter, perimeter divided by two, times the apothem. So now you can explore more about the area of a pentagon.